Hello, I'm WBZ TV meteorologist Barry Burbank, and I have your forecast for tonight and the next several days. And today's high 42 degrees in Boston, eight below the average for the date of November 20th, and certainly nowhere near the record high of 74 set back in 1953. So we're back to bad habits here, right back to a below average day after having one red square yesterday. In other words, a one above average day, and we hit 60. Today, much colder. And feel, felt much colder than that because the wind has been blowing and is still blowing out there a little bit, still adding some chill to the air. And there'll still be a bit of a breeze much of the night, but some inland low lying locations, the wind will drop right off. So in Boston, probably the low of about 36 under a mainly clear sky. Some of the suburban locations may be down in the mid and upper 20s for lows as the wind becomes calm in those spots. But it's going to start to pick up from the southwest first thing tomorrow morning. And that's the warm weather wind direction that'll be increasing. So look at these numbers. We're going to go right back up to 55, 58 degrees. So it should be pretty nice going above average in terms of the afternoon high temperature. So again, it's going to be on the cold side when you head out tomorrow morning in the 20s and 30s with just a few scattered clouds, probably partly cloudy midday through the afternoon hours, pretty much close to 50 at noontime and getting into the 50s in the afternoon. And it does look like we'll have a breeze, which will temper the air a little bit. It won't actually feel quite that warm because it'll feel more like 50 degrees. But nevertheless, on the thermometer, it'll say about 57. All thanks to this high pressure center here. We're bent on the east side of the high, so we've been getting some uh, cold air last, ye late yesterday, last night, and this morning. And now as the high moves offshore, it'll be on the back side of the high, and the warmer air will be coming at us. So there we go. The high moves offshore. We get the southwest wind freshening tomorrow. We get this approaching front, and that looks like it's going to kick off a few showers on Wednesday. The question is how much rain is going to be happening over southeastern Massachusetts right now? It appears that's probably going to be the wettest location, southeastern Mass and the Cape. And they may get into a brief period of moderate to heavy rain, although it's a close call whether it's going to be over them or just offshore. In any event, there could be some rain Wednesday morning, especially southeastern Massachusetts, maybe a few showers or a couple of scattered showers north and west of Boston. Then it clears out during Wednesday afternoon. So that's the deal. We had a few snow showers and snow squalls ending in New York State. The clouds will be around tomorrow. Some high thin cloudiness becoming a little bit more prevalent. And then that front approaches coming in from the northwest to give us those showers on Wednesday morning with the heaviest over southeastern sections. The amount of rainfall, this is still a little bit uh, up in the air, so to speak, but it doesn't look like very much north and west of Boston. A brief shower is possible, but maybe a few tenths to a half inch or maybe up to an inch in the outermost part of Cape Cod if they catch that. Now, if you're going to be traveling the next couple of days, getting ready for the uh, Thanksgiving holiday, it looks like for the most part, pretty nice weather coast to coast. Some occasional stormy weather will move into the northwest and affect those locations with some showery rains and gusty winds and some snows in the higher elevations. But most of the rest of the nation is governed by high pressure. And we have a one front coming down, giving a few snow showers in the Great Lakes as we get deeper into Thanksgiving. But overall, even into Friday, it looks pretty good to me across the nation for traveling. For here, we'll be up around 40 to 42 degrees on Thanksgiving Day. Bright and chilly, not as cold as some Thanksgivings have been. The coldest was back in 1873, 11 degrees. And the snowiest was 1989 with 4.4 inches of snow in Boston. But no snow this time around. Here's the seven-day forecast. It'll be about 50 on Wednesday with some of that rain, especially southeastern Mass in the morning. And then a cold Thanksgiving Day, way below average. Uh, pretty nice day on Friday. Then warming up on Saturday, getting more cloudy late in the day. A couple of rain or snow showers on Sunday and maybe a few snow showers the beginning of next week as we have another shot of really cold air. It may hardly get over 32 next Monday. You can watch WBZ News at 5, 6, and 11 o'clock tonight. You can also watch the news and check out our winter forecast. Check it out on WBZ News at 5 o'clock and also tonight again at 11 o'clock. You can also see the news at 8 o'clock on My TV 38. Have a nice night.